What I'm trying to do here, everybody, is um, split a Balanites fruit apart. Now, this Balanites fruit, which may result in my cutting my finger off, was found in a piece of elephant dung. Now, the point of this is Rexon's just given me a really nice sort of cultural use. Sorry, I'm going to move it there for it. And it's used to point your way in life. And what you do is you have to cut this thing open. This is a nightmarish thing, it won't open at all. I'll try once more and then I'll show you the one that we've already prepared. <laughs> this has got broken fingers written all over it. How deeply irritating. <laughs> I don't think this one's going to open. Let's shall we try one more, Rick? Thank you. All right, let's try this one. And then I will tell you what Rex told me. But they are amazingly hard. There we go. Ah, right. So we're sort of in there. We need to, it's open surface. There's the nut that you can see there. We're just going to dig that out. And then we're going to make an, a smooth surface from the edge of the seed, trying desperately, in this, while we do this, not to cut our hands off. And what we have to do, there's the, I mean, there's the nut. And it's, uh, can you eat this, Rex? No, Rexon says no. I, I mean, they, they don't, they smell, as I've said to you before, like sort of rancid dried apricots. I don't know if you know that smell, but um, dried apricots are my very worst, one of my very worst things in the world. So I've had ne never had any desire to eat one of these things. And yeah, this one's split. Anyway, so we're going to hollow it out, and then we're going to make a nice kind of um, flat surface out of the broken edge. If you can imagine what I mean. So we're going to cut this off here, like that. Again, being very careful not to slice our fingers off. Yeah, and it really does smell like, uh, now it's mixed with elephant dung as well, so it's pretty gross. Now we'll give it one more thump. Oops, sorry. I need to beat the camera in half. This one's cracked. Anyway, that's hopeless. Right, so Rex has already made one for us because he's much more confident, competent with the knife. And what you need is six of these. And apparently what you do is you take all six of them and then if you're thinking in the morning, no, I want to find some leopards. And so should I go Central Road or should I go Twin Dams? Or should, no, should I go Central Road? And you throw it and it will either land head up or it'll land head down. That means yes and that means no. And so if you get four open for yes and uh, two open for no, well, then you go Central Road. If you go to the other way around, then you don't go Central Road. And apparently this is a very effective way of finding wildlife that I'm going to begin using as of today, I think. I just need to find a few more Balanites fruits. And as you smell it, I mean, it really is... It's now infused with elephant dung because this has passed through the digestive system of an elephant. But it smells like... I don't know if you know what dried apricots... Dried apricots are common everywhere, I think. And it smells like they've been sort of put through a composter and then left to rot for a little while. And some people will put these in their mouths and chew them and suck them. I think they are just disgusting. And in theory, this oil, or this, this um, seed, has got an oil that will burn. And that's where the torchwood gets its name from. And it does feel quite oily, I must say. But I don't have a lighter on me. Do you have a lighter on you? Oh, hang on a sec. Ah, hang on. Here we go. Let's see if it burns, shall we? No, it doesn't. I've always, I've embarrassed myself 150 times trying to do this before. No, there is no oil there. All right, so I can't cut and I can't light a fire, but, uh, well, that's probably not a bad thing. 
Uh, it, and don't worry, none of this is about to go up in flames. It's all much too wet. I wouldn't be doing this in the middle of September or October. Let's head further down to the south, down Twin Dams, where Tristan's Balanites roots indicated that he would find elephants. <laughs> 